Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we will be learning how to use R-Clone. So to start off, you're going to need to install R-Clone and you can find the instructions on how to install that by going to the description below and clicking on my link. Anyway, once you've got it going, what you need to do is you need to type in R-Clone config. Now, there are a lot of different types of remotes. Now, I have a test one that I just did a couple of minutes ago to test out. And uh, I'm going to do a new one. So to do a new configuration, and you can do it with a bunch of different remote setups as you'll be able to see. So, and for new, now let's type this as Google Drive. Okay, so I'm gonna make this as Google Drive, but if you don't wanna use Google Drive, that's okay. You can use a lot of other different options. The reason that I'm going with Google Drive is because this is one of the most used services in the tutorial, in the written tutorial, I cover how you can use Dropbox. So if you wanna learn how to use Dropbox, you can check out my written instructions. But for this example, we're gonna be going with the Google Drive experience, the Google Drive setup. So just type in Drive and that will go with Google Drive and it's going to ask us to set up a client ID. What we need to do is we need to ignore this and, and set it to the default. So default, once again, default, Right here is where we need to assess how we want to manipulate our Google Drive stuff. If you want the basic, uh, I want access to my, and uh, the ability to upload and download, just pick number one, forget the other ones. As for this, just click enter again, and uh, enter again, and then click N. So at this point, I need to pause because I need to authenticate my Google account with our clone, and I'm not gonna show you that. So upon successful authentication, it's going to say, all done, please go back to our clone. So once all the configuration is done, just click no, because you don't want this set as a team drive. Click yes, this is okay. And then click Q to quit. So now that the configuration is set up, we can upload our stuff. So before we do anything, we need to do our clone list remotes. Now we can see we have our Google Drive set up. So if we want to upload stuff just with a direct copy, we can do our clone, make DR, and then Google Drive as the remote, and then let's go with our clone test folder. Now this will make a remote folder and uh, we can go ahead and check the remote folder here really quick. Let me log in really quick. So I'm logged in. As you can see, the make dir command has set up an R clone test folder. So now if we want to upload something, we can find a folder. I'm gonna go with my filebot folder. So R clone copy home. Derek, Filebot, and then Google Drive, colon, our clone test folder. Now this should automatically upload all of our stuff directly to the Drive account that it's associated with through our clone and all of that. Once the file upload is done, we can go to our folder here in Google Drive and we can see all our stuff is there. All right, so not only can you upload files to your remote connection through our clone, you can actually also download files. So for example, if I need to download all of the contents of this folder, or let's say another folder, hmm, let's see, misc. Okay, so if I wanna download everything from my misc folder, what I can do is I can do our clone sync then you start off with the name of the remote connection, which is Google Drive. And if you're using a different remote connection, say Dropbox or whatever, syncing down starts with the name of the connection first, followed by the colon, and then the name of the folder, which is, in my case, for the Google Drive setup here, is the MISC folder. And then if I want to download it to my desktop, specify desktop folder, and then run the R clone and it should automatically download. And as you can see, I've got all of my files that were in here and it works with pretty much any folder. So if we do the drive folder I showed you, we can download from the drive folder and uh, 
It's pretty easy. It's it's uh, it's not a constant sync, so it's not like you can just keep it running in the background where it automatically runs and uploads and downloads. But if you need to interact with a lot of different remote systems, and it especially works well with Google Drive because there is no Google Drive client, you can do it this way. So I hope this video was informative. You guys, our clone is a really unique tool. It can actually do what it's doing through remote setups like Google Drive or Dropbox or Amazon. And uh, that's how it works. So like I said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.